for all these people who are moving in into this industry, uh, what is the major change which is happening? So this is just a skill set overview. I've tried to keep, to keep it as concise as possible, but you can see that uh, the number crunching, uh, it's a, on the left hand side you can see the conventional trading success recipe, so which you will have, um, which probably included number crunching and patterns. So you had a lot of um, uh, dealers and a lot of uh, people who would look at the patterns who would just watch the ticker, right? So uh, people used to trade tickers till uh, uh, those who might have read uh, reminiscences of a stock operator, you would remember that they, he just used to look at the tickers and try to make sense of that and trade using that. Then came the electronic trading. So uh, where you were still doing manual trading manually, but out of the pits, not, not out of the pits, but rather inside your office and um, just by typing up the orders. So how fast you're entering your order, that actually became a big skill uh, in the absence of um, uh, automated automated trading systems or because of regulations or technology, whichever way it be. But uh, you would see that uh, those who can send an order in a second or probably two orders in a second, they would become a costly resource by themselves, especially on the dealer side. Uh, again, the reference in this case you might remember would be the Wall Street where there was a, a dealer who could, who could execute as many orders as possible at the instructions of Michael Douglas in that movie and he will just make a huge money, right? So, so that's, that's, uh, that was actually a skill set which was highly valued. And then the financial markets understanding which uh, remains true even till that date. So uh, the financial markets, uh, you have to have a clear understanding of uh, what is going on in the market, what kind of, uh, 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 so basically all the basics of the market, be it on the market microstructure side or be it on the, uh, on the various trading strategy side or understanding of uh, uh, how stocks trade. So like uh, even understanding how the dividend play happens, that would have a um, max impact on uh, how you trade even complex instruments or uh, newer instruments like options, right? So, so that's there. And then there was something called connections. So um, you could not learn all these things on your own. It was really difficult. You need to know someone. You need to have some connection to enter into that trading pit because it was a small, small area, right? And not everyone would be allowed into that because it's a small area again. So the, that, the real estate is limited. So the space is limited and uh, that's why you would need people to actually get an entry into that pit or to get an, uh, if you want to learn about it, you need to know someone because there's not enough text or enough um, literature which, which was freely available. Um, obviously the internet was not that active uh, a few decades back. So these were all the skill sets which were, uh, which um, um, would have made you um, a happy and a successful trader uh, till a few decades back. What has changed over time. If we look at the, um, um, the trading success recipe for the quantitative trader, especially uh, in the contemporary trading uh, world now, you'll see that first and foremost, a very good understanding of mathematical and statistical understanding. So this is something that you need. You need to understand the mathematics, the statistics, um, uh, which you can use for strategy ideation, for strategy modeling, for strategy implementation. So we'll be at the end of this session. We'll be try. We'll try to do a case study, small case study. I will discuss on it and uh, see how all these things actually make a um, make a, make a move into uh, into your overall strategy development as well as your implementation plan when you go for a quantitative trading or algorithmic trading uh, implementation. Then some mathematical and statistical understanding. This acts as a building block for your strategy. Then you have financial computing. So this is the toolbox. So the toolbox which can include your R language which is open source and heavily used by the hedge funds as well as the algorithmic trading firms globally, big and small alike, and or Python or other programming language like C, C++, .NET, all of them. Right? So this or Excel, VBA, even basic things like that. So all those things comes into the financial computing part. And then you need to have the understanding of, because this financial computing is important from the perspective of um, you will be dealing with a lot of data. You would be, uh, you will be dealing with like probably on a daily basis gigabytes of data. So for that, you need some sophisticated tools to use those um, uh, to to make sense of that data, to analyze that data, and then also when you want to automate the execution, you need a programming language using which you would be able to code that up, right? So so that's uh, that's where the financial computing comes into the play then you need to have a very good understanding of technology and market microstructure. 
why do I need to understand technology when I'm going to trade and um, how does it matter? Well, uh, it turns out that it does matter a bit, if not a lot, if you, even if you have a lot of technology resources on at your expense. And that is from two, perspe uh, two reasons. First is it will shorten your go to market. So there would be less communication gap. So the mishaps would be less. So what you are telling the other technology guy to code up in the strategy, if so the technology, if either you're assuming that the technology guy all, already understands everything in the financial markets or the trading side, which uh, is as good as saying that you understand the uh, technology as a trader, right? So uh, if that is not there, in that case, there can be a huge um, a misfit in the in the company or the, uh, the or the gap in communication, which can happen between the trader and the technocrat. And um, we have seen these things happening with the uh, or earlier consulting assign during our earlier consulting assignments or uh, during the or interactions with different um, uh, trading desks where the traders who did not have any idea about technology they could not communicate they were not able to put themselves into the shoes of the of the technocrat and uh, it will just keep on expanding the go go to go to market a lot All right that's one now second is uh, a more important one to a lot of traders um, who value their ip is that you would not like to disclose each and everything to your your to anyone else probably right so if you do not want to disclose so you would always like to keep one part of the secret sauce to yourself and to do that if you're automating the whole thing you would need to understand a bit of a programming bit of uh, coding so that you can do it yourself so these are two primary reasons and then if you're understanding the technology then you the, it makes your strategy analysis much easier as well especially if you're doing it on the high frequency trading side so it would um, make your uh, life easier if you know that uh, 400 message uh, per second is the limit on the exchange side if you know that then it would help you uh, which can also be included as the part of the market microstructure or uh, if you know that uh, uh, what are the pitfalls that can be there because of the technology uh, in your strategy? You can uh, you can try to mitigate those risks as well as uh, take even take advantage of those things uh, in your strategy as a trader. And then the financial market understanding, which remains the same um, as earlier, just that now you need to have not just the um, understanding of the uh, basic stocks or commodities or futures, but also options and those of you who trade into CFDs and other things, uh, you need to have a good understanding of all those more complex instruments as well. So that's uh, that's for your quantitative trading uh, success recipe, which you will have.